We're bison meant to run long distances? We were not. We are a sedentary animal. Uh, we're back at South Eugene High School at Amazon Trail. I'm gonna run the one mile loop five times, um, about 8K. And afterwards, I wanna talk about the power of cross country, especially for high school and college kids. I, I really, really believe in cross country. Whether you're a 400 meter runner or whether you're a, you know, a distance machine, the power of cross country makes kids so strong. And cross country was never easy for me, but I was actually a state champion in Idaho and a conference champion at the D3 level in college. So first, let me crank out 8K, see where I'm at, and then afterwards I'm gonna give you five tips to improving your cross country running. Only in your gene, right? I'm getting rolled up. 40 years old. Woo! <laughs> Survived it. Tired though. So. I closed in 550. You add that all up, it's a 30, 30, 8K. 606 pace for five miles right now in just my second week of training. I'm ecstatic with that. You know, my personal best is 2449. So I'm good. I'm a long ways off of that, six minutes off of that. But I can't compare myself with where I was at in college training for 8K cross country because right now I'm training for the marathon. It kind of gets me started on my five tips for being a better cross country runner. Tip number one, volume is key. And all my fellow 800 meter runners out there who have to run cross country know that this is the worst part. You gotta get your volume up. My second tip for being an efficient cross country runner is losing weight. And this is a really slippery slope. You wanna be light on your feet so you can glide across the soft ground, but you don't wanna get so light that you get sick. And for me running cross country, um, you know, I used to race track and field about 165, but I used to run cross country about 155. And uh, it was always difficult vacillating between the two, but I really felt if I lost an extra five pounds, um, I could stay pretty healthy and I ran better at cross country. So, um, again, be careful with it, but lighter on the cross country course, I think is critical. That takes me to number three, which is choose your surface wisely. When we're talking about surfaces, I think it's probably important to mention training as well. Try to stay on soft surfaces. I really think that that's important for injury prevention. I do most of my miles on these uh, bark dust trails that we have here in Eugene. Um, and I also think that by training on soft surfaces, you're teaching your body to be efficient on those surfaces. So uh, if you're running all your miles on the roads, when you go to run cross country, that's going to feel like a really soft, slow surface for you. Whereas if you're running on soft surfaces like this bark dust and you go onto dirt or you go onto the roads, you're going to feel like you're flying. Which takes me to tip four. Footwear is critical. Uh, right now I'm running in the launch. I love these shoes. Um, I'm actually considering racing the marathon in a pair of these. Uh, the launch by Brooks Running is a very lightweight trainer with a lot of cushion. Um, for marathon, I think it'd be great. For running a great 8K or, or great cross country, it's not the right shoe. Uh, people ask me a lot, what's the best shoe to wear in a marathon or road race? Hyperion uh, by Brooks Running is a great shoe, very lightweight, minimalist trainer, uh, a racer, racing flat rather. Uh, for traction on a cross-country course, then I recommend the mocks. So that's tip number four, make sure you choose the right footwear. Um, and tip number five is pacing. Uh, when I ran 24.49, I was running right at sub five pace, right at like 4.59 pace. And I, I think every one of my miles was about five seconds of each other. So try those tips for yourself and let me know any other tips that you might have in the comments below. Now I'm gonna do this exact five mile course again in four weeks time, utilizing these tips that I just gave you. Um, I'm gonna practice what I preach and, and do this course again in four weeks time. I want you guys to follow me along for this new short term goal and join me in exactly four weeks to see what I run for 8K cross country. Please press the subscribe, where's the subscribe button? It'd be on my left. So please do me a huge favor, press the subscribe button and be notified when I attack this five mile course again in four weeks time.